Whoa, you're really into Star Wars, aren't you? Sweet. This is really neat. Where did you get all this stuff? Use the Force. It'll help guide you to the right answer. Yeah, you want me to call Luke Skywalker for you? What happened to Boba Fett? Uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Hey, what do we got here? The holy grail of all Star Wars memorabilia. Is this the original script? What are well, the original it's, scripts? It's the fourth and final draft, signed by George Lucas. This is really neat. How much do you want for it? $25,000. I have a friend who's the consummate Star Wars nerd. And luckily, he's also the guy I always use to verify autographs. The first thing I want to do is look for live ink on here. And it, I look for the overlapping points on here. Sure. I mean, this is the point where I want to take a look at, especially here. You see the crossing here? Yeah. So we know we've got live ink on here. Great. Okay. So the signature is real? Yeah, no question about it. Beautiful, gorgeous signature of George Lucas. I mean, it's it's about as pristine and gorgeous as it gets. Okay, so what do you think it's worth? Probably $2,000. I'd give you a 1000 bucks for it. No, not quite, but I appreciate the offer. Okay. Earlier, I got a call from a guy wanting to sell some movie memorabilia. So Chum and I are going to go see what he's got. So this is it, huh? <laughs> you have uh, two life-size Star Wars figures. Darth Maul was one of the villains. Okay. And Jar Jar was one of the happy-go-lucky good guys, I guess you could say. They were a promotion that Pepsi and Frito-Lay put on. And they were around in uh, grocery stores around town, and I just happened to put a couple entry forms in and won them. How much were you looking to get out of them? I'm looking to get 600 each out of them. <sighs> they take up a lot of real estate. But they're cool. Rick, use the force. It'll help guide you to the right answer. I'll tell you what, I'll give you 200 bucks a piece for them. Nah, I'll have to give, you have to give me at least six for them. I'll give you three a piece. Now nah, I'm gonna have to pass. Okay, thanks for showing up to me though, man. My dad gave this to me and he's hoping that it'll pay for my dress for my wedding. It looks like it's autographed down here. Do you know by who? Um, I know Tom Ford and some other signatures that I can't actually read. Tom Ford, like the designer? You mean Harrison. Okay, Harrison Ford. <laughs> How much are you looking to get for this? Somewhere around 4000 That's how much my dress is worth. I actually would like to call two people down here. OK. Who are these other two autographs? Well, up here is Mark Hamill, and Luke Skywalker, of course, and then Carrie Fisher, who is Princess Leia. So you had the three main ones on there. Awesome. Well, how much are they worth? Uh, $3,000 range. All right. So I've had Steve come and take a look at these autographs. Uh, Hamill, very... Fisher, and Ford? And yeah. no, no doubt they're real. It's you know, a really fantastic piece. I think it's about a 9.4. So near main comic itself without the signatures would be worth about $50. What about 3.5? Would you take 1500 for it? I'm not dropping below three. I don't see myself paying any more than 1500 for it. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. The guy called me up, said he has a Star Wars collection. People go nuts over this stuff. Come on over here, I'll show you the Star Wars collection I called you about. Most of this is Star Wars original filming props. This is a resin blaster. It was used by stormtroopers in Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Sweet. So how much do you want for all this stuff? I'm talking like 80,000. I have a friend who is like the world's largest Star Wars freak. Do you mind if I get him down here to look at this stuff? OK. Impressive. What's the stuff worth? Before I tell you for sure, I want to make a phone call, check with a few guys I know in the industry. I'm back. I had a chance to talk to Kit West about this, and Kit West is Academy Award winner. There's no doubt in my mind that this is screen use. The big one is the blaster. So what's the stuff worth? Right around $75,000. I'll give you 50 grand for him. I'm going to have to decline on that. If you change your mind over the next few days, give me a call. There are uh, Star Wars figurines from 1978. Sweet. Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Darth Vader, the Stormtrooper, C-3PO. But the one of the most values I understand is the Jawa. And there's uh, many, many ones with the cloth cape. But the vinyl one is in this one is, is one that's very rare. Any idea of what you're looking to get out of them? $11,000. I got a buddy who owns a toy store. He could probably help me out. Mind if I give him a call? No, that's fine. Wow, man, these are really nice shape. That's also the vinyl cape. As far as Star Wars toys go, the Holy Grail is the vinyl cape Jawa. It's one of the most sought after Star Wars figures. Let me just smell these. What are you doing? Sometimes you can smell the age of them, and you can also smell if there's glue. So do they smell real? They do. They smell like 1978 to me. What do you think they're worth? In the nine to twelve thousand dollar range. Would you take six for them? No. I'll give you seven grand. Okay, I'll do seven thousand. All right, yeah. 